wacky, weird, wild. If it was unpredictable and unfathomable, comical and controversial, then it happened in college football 1990. Higher powers were at work this season. What else besides divine intervention could have delivered salvation to Notre Dame in its first two games? Say amen. Immaculate receptions also blast Florida State and Ohio State. Washington State quarterback Drew Bledsoe found that if you want something done right, you do it yourself. It is better to give and receive on the same play. But for proof that the college football gods must be crazy, Utah's miracle in the Metrodome. Final seconds, Minnesota has a chip shot to break a 29 all time. Rejected, an improbable, impossible, incredible upset as LeVon Edwards galloped 91 yards for the game winner. And coach Ron McBride gave us the celebration of the year by sprinting twice that far and breaking a dozen tackles. Victory, it tastes so sweet. Right, Eric the enemy? And Herman Moore? And Lamar Thomas? Come on, everybody's invited to the 1990 End Zone Sock Hop. Enough of that. I said stop it. That's it. Thank you. Next. Yes, baby! Yes, baby! Yeah! How wacky was the season? Well, it seems everybody got into the fumble ruski act. Even Kansas State. But the team that made it great in the first place, Florida State, made the fumble, but not the ruski, and blew a game with Auburn. Back to the drawing board, Bobby. Here's the quarterback sneak of the year. Clemson's to Shane Cameron against Virginia. Let's see, uh, that shoelace looks a little loose. Hey, wait a second, do over, we weren't ready. Shame on you, Duchesne. We got our share of kicks from the kicking game this season. Remember, Southern University, onside kick must travel 10 yards, as in 10 yards forward. We said forward, USC. Forward is the only gear the rocket knows. The human highlight reel made the largest play in the largest game of the season, burning Miami. From the graceful to the disgraceful, Ole Miss and Mississippi State, Pitt and Temple, and LSU Florida State. So, where were the zebras and all this? Well, sometimes in the play and in the way. Sometimes out to lunch. They held on to their hankies on this Michigan mugging, a failed two-pointer that knocked the Wolverines from the top spot. It should be as simple as one, two, three, four. But Colorado took the fifth and ran with it into the end zone to beat Missouri in the year's most baffling finish. And haven't we seen this before? Premature jubilation at a Cal Stanford game? The Bearbackers cost their team 15 yards, and so did a roughing the passer call, setting up the Cardinal for a stunning winning field goal. Revenge for 1982. Now the hit them when they're down award. Tennessee's Greg Burke hooks a 34-yarder that would have beat Auburn. Instead of a pat on the back, he gets a cuff off the head. And the hits kept coming in 1990. Enough punishment now. From slam dancing to ballet, we leave you with a grab bag of the great and graceful from college football 1990.